In this video, I will explain the main evolutions and improvement of the new release of the Copernicus Marine Service Catalog and Viewer. I remind you that from the Copernicus Marine Service website homepage, you can access the catalog by clicking on Ocean Products here and accessing directly the viewer uh, by clicking on uh, Ocean Visualization here. So what's new in, in this release? Uh, first of all, one of the most prominent features uh, is the redesigned catalog subnails. So the, the goal here is to easily figure out which type of product uh, you have here only with subnails. So first of all, the geographic domain covered by the product uh, can be uh, easily seen here with subnails. Here you have global product, here you have Mediterranean product, Arctic product, of course, it's uh, quite quite easy. The pace map also uh, show uh, important information about the data. Here you have dark base map used for near real time uh, product, a light uh, base map used for um, multi-year or long time span uh, product, and there is also um, bathymetry base map used uh, for in situ uh, product. So the type of um, variable can be also easily uh, identified with color palette, the color palette used uh, in the thumbnail. So here the green ocean uh, use uh, green uh, color palette for the physics um, like temperature for example the color palette is like that wave uh, has a quite different uh, plot here with a, a different palette uh, wind also here and uh, yeah, I take the, the occasion here to uh, show the gaps in the data here. Then you have, you, you know that you have a level three product and here no gaps, uh, you have a level four uh, product. So if I cancel the feature, yeah, you also have little icons here. Um, where you can see here a satellite for satellite observation. Here numerical models with a, 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 a sphere, uh, or gridded sphere, I can, I can say, and also in situ uh, product with this uh, little uh, icon. Um, okay, that's it for the subnails. A new uh, filter has been added uh, in the new last uh, in this new release. So this is the depth range. Uh, this new feature allows you to filter products and find those that cover a particular uh, interval. For example, 50 to 1,000 meters. Yeah. Um, so if um, another improvement of this new release is uh, the selection of the main variable. So here I click on temperature, I can see all the products uh, that include temperature. But moreover, if I want to view product, I will see here all the data sets which include also uh, temperature. That it means that in these products there are more data sets, but here you by default see only the data sets that uh, include uh, temperature. Uh, if you want to see all the data sets, uh, you, can, you can do it here by clicking, clicking on all uh, layer. So here is uh, the viewer. Yeah. But I like that. So um, next, uh, the use cases. So here uh, I have this product. 
I access the product sheet to uh, to have a full detailed description of the, the product. And here you can find its new use cases that um, where this product is uh, used. So this is a, a link between use cases here and uh, this this product. Uh, about the data access, uh, this new release uh, have been um, uh, including a new data access service, uh, which is quite similar to FTP, but more embedded uh, in the web browser. Uh, you can see here the browse link, which allows you to browse the folders of the files, um, which uh, which uh, constitute this, this data set. So uh, usually uh, you have here the data set, the years, the months, and then all the, the, the files uh, in, the, in the folder. So you can select the files you want to, uh, to, to download and click on download. So very easy. Um, so, if I cancel, maybe I don't want to download it now. And finally, in the viewer, so to access the viewer, you can uh, you can reach view product here, or uh, if I come back here, you can pass through the product sheet and click here on Explore in My Asian Pro. So here you can visualize the product and in the settings here you can select the base map you want to see for this uh, particular layer. So for example the seawater potential temperature of the which product, this product, the model output. Okay, so this is a light base map, you have the dark base map here. And of course, with a good level of zoom, you can go very precisely on the coast. Um, and there is this bathymetry base map, which is can be quite nice. So thank you for listening and see you next time.